Hey guys, Gilbert Cantu with Little Jake Bonsai. Um, I wanted to make a video on defoliation and kind of talk about what goes into defoliation. What's the purpose? Why do you need to defoliate a tree? Do you even need to defoliate a tree? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of talk about some of those things and, and kind of walk you through the process um, of how I do it. And we're going to remove everything, all the growth from this tree um, for several reasons. So let me just kind of get started with that. Okay, well I've had this tree for probably about, I think five years. Um, I got it from a friend of mine and he had worked on it for a little while, but I liked it because it's kind of this two tree group. Um, they are actually two different trees. Um, their roots are kind of growing together, but I kind of like it. Um, you know, you have the dominant tree and then this, this, this little side one. Um, the main reason why I'm defoliating, well, there's several reasons why I'm going to defoliate this tree, but um, this tree actually has this, this little knot right here, this little part that was, I guess it died off um, and it kind of healed around it, but it hasn't really truly grown over it. I mean, it has grown around it and you can see where it's healed, but you know, you kind of have this, this, um, this gap right here. And what I want to do is I can actually fill that in by developing a branch kind of lower down here, um, just somewhere in this area, probably down lower um, or right in the middle if I could, um, and actually have it grow out. And then I use that as a sacrifice branch so, um, so the tree can actually get thicker down here. Um, and I'll just let it grow for a while. But how am I going to get a branch down there? Right? That's kind of the big question. So the way I do it, um, especially if you know you have um, you have a lot of growth, especially on taller trees like this, all the energy of the tree kind of grows up and ends up at the top. So so the top of your tree is where all the energy is growing, all the growth is, and then so you can see down here, there's not a lot of growth. This is growing a lot faster than these smaller branches. So what? what you have to do is actually remove quite a bit of the growth up here so it allows the growth to return back to the bottom. So defoliation is a great way to do that. Um, so why would you need to defoliate a tree? Well, for one, if like I said, if you wanna have, um, if you wanna develop new growth somewhere, um, somewhere on the tree where you, where, you know, like I said, down here, I want a branch because I wanna kind of fill this in. Um, you know, say you have a lot of growth on one side and you want more growth on the other side. So you start over, you remove all the leaves and um, as soon as you remove everything, you need to fertilize heavy. Um, I will actually cover the soil with Osmocote, lots of Osmocote, um, and then I water it in with Liquid miracle Grow. So what that does is you remove all the leaves, it still has all the energy that was growing up to support all this growth, but by adding the fertilizer in there, um, a lot of fertilizer, you're going to give this super boost of, of growth. So, I mean, I will literally, I can guarantee that there's going to be lots of growth down here at the bottom. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so that's one reason to, to defoliate, defoliate a tree. Another reason would be, um, and I actually just did this on one of my other trees, um, I had uh, caterpillars attack it. Um, or you can have, I mean, an insect may kind of go in and eat a lot of the leaves and you have a lot of dense growth and it's like, man, you know, where the heck is that bug or the leaves are all chomped up on one side, but the other side's fine. Well, the awesome thing about the portulacaria is, I mean, these leaves aren't permanent. I can remove everything and get a new set of leaves and they come in and then they come in small. So if they come in small, you want to keep trimming them so, so they stay small. So that's, that's one reason, you know, like I said, to, to remove and defoliate a, a, a tree. Um, let me see, what else? Um, oh, a lot of times when you're developing pads, the, the growth is going to be kind of on your outside areas and you may have trouble, you know, you, you may have leaves kind of at the ends of all your branches and you may say you want to develop, you want your growth to kind of be everywhere. Um, but like, especially like these inner branches, I mean, sometimes they're in the shade, so they don't grow like the, 
the branches on the outside. So if you defoliate everything, you're allowing that sunlight to come in and of course with the fertilizer, you're gonna boost the growth and you will develop um, leaves kind of everywhere. Um, you're gonna get bran branches down at the bottom. It's gonna kind of be all over the place. Um, so if you're asking, is it okay to defoliate your tree? Well, you need to ask yourself some questions. Is the tree healthy already? Is it established in its container? Um, is it, has it been growing and is it just, does it look healthy? You, I mean, you could tell. Um, you can only really defoliate a tree that's established in its pot, um, in its container that it's growing in. Um, this tree has been in here probably in this pot for maybe about a year and a half, two years maybe. Um, so I know the roots are healthy because you could tell by the growth, right? The growth is, it's, it's dark green, of course, because I fertilize a lot. Um, but the, you have these long branches and so it's it's established I know the history of this plant and this particular tree and it's a, it's it's a healthy tree I just want to get some growth down here because everything's all up here um, So you can only defoliate a tree if it's healthy and established in its pot do not defoliate Remove all the leaves and then trim the roots. That's a that's a big no-no um, You can do that you can get away with it it depends on how healthy and strong the roots are. Um, but why, why do that? You know, I mean, of course, this is the art of patience. So, you know, work on the top, work on the tree. If the, if the roots are healthy, don't try and rush it. If it's in a plastic container, um, don't try to hurry and get it in a bonsai pot, in a bonsai pot. So take your time, um, only defoliate a tree. Again, if you want, if you want new leaves, um, if you want to wire a tree, um, because I, I guarantee you, if you try to wire it, any portal carrier you're going to wire with a lot of growth, you're going to drop leaves. And so might as well, you know, do it at the same time. So only defoliate if you, um, if you feel like you need to. Um, but if you have nice growth already, then, you know, just keep it, keep trimming it, maintain it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and defoliate this tree. Like I said, because the tree's healthy, it's happy in here. So... I'm gonna do a time lapse because um, it's gonna take a while. But I kinda of wanna show you a little bit about it. So there are several ways to defoliate a tree. Of course, you can use trimming shears. Um, what, what you can do, and a lot of times what's quicker, is just by pulling the leaves off. Just kinda of pull them off. Um, it's gonna take a while. Um, there's gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna have to do a time lapse on this because it does take a while, um, especially on this particular tree because there are a lot. Of, there is a lot of uh, a lot of growth. So um, you want when you're defoliating, you're you're removing all the leaves, especially the larger leaves. You can leave some of the growth at at the tips. On some of these, you don't necessarily have to remove everything. All you're trying to do is um, remove as much of the leaves as you can. Um, so whenever you're thinking about defoliating, and of course, a, a lot of it is just understanding how the plant grows. Um, I've been growing these for 18 years, so I kind of, you know, notice growth patterns and why they do, why they grow a certain way. Um, but whenever, you know, think about it is you have a water hose. Your trunk is kind of this hose that's feeding water up into the leaves. Um, I water a lot, so my leaves are really fat. Um, but think about this. If you remove, if you have water that's flowing up, say the trunk is like a hose. You have water that's flowing up and it's keeping these leaves plump. What happens when you remove all the leaves? you basically have all this energy that's growing up into your tree, um, but when, by removing all your leaves, that energy has nowhere to go. It, all it's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna burst out new growth, but it's also gonna go back into the trunk. Like I said, um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, get a, I'm gonna get some lower branches, but of course you have to fertilize a lot. You have to fertilize heavy after this. Um, so, Going back to defoliating, you can just pull them off. It's, you're not gonna hurt the tree. Um, 
of course, I'm gonna remove some of the, trim off some of the longer branches. Um, but you can just, you're basically just pulling them off. Sorry if you heard my dog. He's a schnauzer, so he barks at everything. Um, so, you can kind of see this branch right here. Sorry. So, there's some growth still on it, but all the little half leaves are gonna fall off um, and then it's gonna develop new, new, new leaves. So let me continue and I'm gonna do a time lapse and hopefully get through this quicker. got that done. Um, so I went through, removed all the leaves, all the growth, and you can really get a, a better idea on the, the structure of the tree. Um, of course, up here, oh, it was so compact and so dense. I think I saw like three different spiders kind of drop and stuff. It's kind of cool. I mean, I, I don't mind. Spiders are, are um, they're beneficial insects, and then I don't mind them on my trees. Um, it's only a nuisance if they're spinning webs and uh, but they eat they eat other bugs so that's kind of cool um okay so i also forgot to mention when is the best time right the best time of uh of year to defoliate and for me it's usually well for anybody um i keep saying for me a lot because uh, a lot of what i learned had, was was i mean i had to figure it out myself it was a lot of wrong information online uh, when I first got started. And so it's like, you know, you kind of have to figure it out yourself. Um, so anyway, the best time to defoliate a tree is either the springtime or early summer, or yeah, I mean, midsummer. Uh, but I wouldn't go past, you know, further past that because they need time to recover. Um, one time I did defoliate a tree, kind of, it was kind of by accident. Um, I kind of got carried away and ended up defoliating the whole thing around, um, I think it was the beginning of fall. And so then we had a, um, that year we had a quick winter. It seemed like every, the cold front started coming pretty fast and the tree just kind of struggled. Um, there's another little spider down here. The tree just kind of struggled all through the winter time. And even the springtime, it just seemed like there was bare growth in certain areas. And so the best time to do it is like I said, springtime, uh, early to midsummer, um, so it has enough time to develop and, and uh, produce new leaves. So now that I did defoliate, what I can do, like I said, you have a, a better view of the structure. Um, sometimes when you have real compact and dense growth, uh, you may have some branches that are crossing and, um, you know, so you wanna use this opportunity to go through and remove some of the branches that, are, um, that aren't that are working together. Of course, 
remove, you want all your growth to be growing up or at least horizontal. Um, you don't want any branches, like there's these two branches here that are like, it's kind of hard to tell, but they're running into each other. So you have to pick which one you're gonna keep. Um, and just kind of, you know, trim the ones that you think need to be trimmed. This is actually, uh, the branching looks pretty good to me. There's one here that's kind of right up here in the middle. And I don't know if I like it and I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Oops. So if this did have leaves on it, um, it would probably root easily easier. Uh, I'm gonna stick this in some soil and hope it roots. Um, it might because there's some green on it. Um, so I'm gonna save this as a cutting. And let's see here. So trim, going back, trimming some of the excess growth. Now is the perfect time to wire if I was gonna do any wiring. Uh, everything already kind of has a good shape to it. I don't know. I kind of think about bringing this branch down a little bit. It may not need it. I mean, you could be as specific as you want. You could, you could, I can go in and um, whenever, I, I used to wire a lot of trees, a lot more now, um, but I have a tendency to go in and I, once I start wiring one branch, I'm like, man, well, the other one needs to come down a little bit more and, and then I get carried away. Um, I mean, the biggest reason why I don't wire as often as I do and I do kind of clip and grow is just for the fact that these guys, the poor lacarias just grow so fast. Um, I mean, they're, it's like, you know, ficus trees. You can wire a ficus, but you have to really like keep watching the growth, keep watching it because um, you don't want the, the wire to cut into the bark. Um, yeah. So, Everything kind of looks pretty good to me. Let me keep that. And you also wanna, whenever you are working on a tree, you know, you, you wanna think aesthetics and balance. Um, you want your branches to kind of, if you have one that's kind of wired down, you don't want this one to be growing up. You kind of want them to be on the same, the same level, the same angle. Uh, I mean, it's just, like I said, you just, you, if you have branches that are directly across from each other, I mean, you, so yeah, like this branch is, is here and this one's up here, but you do not want one that's kind of sticking out here. I would remove that one just so you have, you have balance and you don't have any T-bar, uh, bar branches. Um, but I think everything looks, everything looks good. I mean, I could probably wire this one. Uh, I think it looks good. I think it's fine. I don't know. Some people have a tendency to overwire and overthink them. I mean, you know, I don't know. I, I, I grow my trees for, you know, because I love them. It's a hobby for me. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes you have to not overthink it, you know? I mean, hey, this one looks, it looks pretty good. Is it going in a show? No, it's not. It's going in my backyard. Um, so, I don't know. Grow your trees to keep you, to keep you happy, you know? Don't do it to please others. You know, if you may, say you do like, you do like the way a branch looks kind of growing off the side. I mean, there are rules you need to follow, well, that you should follow, but I mean, if it makes you if it makes you happy and you like the way it looks, just keep it like that. Um, you know, these are your trees. So I think that looks good. I don't think I'm gonna wire anything. I thought I was, but I don't think I am. So this looks good to me. 
So now the next step after defoliating the tree, right? You have all the leaves off, your tree's here. I'm gonna cover this, I'm gonna remove all these old leaves and I'm gonna cover the soil with Osmocote. Um, Osmocote is a great fertilizer you can find at, you know, I mean, my local grocery store carries them. Walmart has it, Home Depot, Lowe's, just depends on where you're at. Um, but it's a pretty common fertilizer. Uh, it's a slow release, so, you know, every time you water, uh, a little bit of fertilizer kind of goes into the soil and gets absorbed by the tree. So I use a lot of Osmocote, like a lot. I will cover, like I said, cover most of the soil with it. Not all of it, but pour it on. Um, but I also water it in with uh, Liquid Miracle Grow. So it just kind of, Liquid Miracle Grow is a, um, it's a liquid fertilizer, but kind of using both. I mean, like I said, all this is gonna, I'm gonna get an explosion of growth definitely along the trunks. Um, hopefully I can get some down at the base here, um, especially right here. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do and see what happens. Uh, hopefully I can get a branch down there, but if not, it's no big deal, right? It's your tree, it makes, makes you happy. Um, but yeah, so that's really it when it comes to defoliation. Um, again, wrapping it up, you only wanna defoliate when a tree is healthy and established in its container. Um, I mean, that's kind of the big thing, the, the, the biggest thing. Um, defoliate in the spring to early summer, maybe midsummer, so it has enough time to grow. I estimate that this tree will probably, since I fertilize, I'm gonna fertilize heavy, um, within one month, this thing's gonna be filled with growth. Um, I may do a follow-up video on that, so you can kind of see the progress. Um, but anyway, Thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, leave a comment, uh, share it, subscribe. If you're not subscribing, um, you definitely need to subscribe. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of cool videos in the works, but um, gotta do one at a time and it takes patience, right? The art of bonsai. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks guys.